When you start to make these little shifts and you start to get these ahas and you begin to come out of victim mode and poor me mode, you start to realize, I do. I am God and I can change the temperature in this room by what I'm thinking mind and heart aligned. So I can say, I'm not going to get defeated about this bill. I'm going to believe. Hello and thank you for joining me on I Am Maggie. And what have we been doing? We've been doing these wonderful, the wonderful complete works of Florence Scovel Shin. And we are on to another book. We're starting another book. We have done the game, the law of prosperity, the power of the word, the law of non-resistance, the law of karma and the law of forgiveness. May we all be using those, casting the burden, love, intuition or guidance and now we are starting perfect self-expression or the divine design and i hope you can feel the momentum that's building as we work through this yesterday we had a beautiful story on um, the lady who lost the 2000 through the tenant thing and instead of getting all wrapped up she thought to herself I'm going to petition the Bank of the Universal. And that $2,000 came back to her. And so as I went through my days, I caught myself today getting caught in the story or noticing I'm thinking something and saying, oh, let me stop and use the law of forgiveness and then send that blessing towards whoever was in my path. So I had a beautiful kind of walk where you can see some of the posts, the short posts, but everything, there's so much beauty in the world. So I just want to continue to encourage you to keep looking for it because it's everywhere. And when you train yourself to that, the world's going to serve up bigger and bigger things to find that are beautiful. So we are starting perfect expression or the divine design. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. No wind can drive out my bark astray, nor change the tide of destiny. Ruff! Okay, hearing that. No bark can drive my bark astray. So the bark can't be carried away by wind. Nor change the tide of destiny. There is, for each man or woman, perfect self-expression. There is a place which he is to fill and no, or she and no one else can fill. Something which he or she is to do, which no one else can do. And it is their destiny. Okay, so I wanna just nail that. That's one of the things about this channel. Dreams, visions, goals, acts of service, purposes. I want you all to keep planting the seeds watering and letting them grow each and every one of you has a magnificent destiny let it come forward not only think the positive thoughts heart and mind align but also take the action okay okay so ready okay <laughs> this achievement is held a perfect idea in the divine mind awaiting man's recognition light bulb there it is and a lot of times we find that when we're walking meditating pondering chewing the word of god or any other sacred text or you know sometimes when we're in service it just dawns on us as the imaging faculty is the creative faculty it is necessary for man to see the idea before it can manifest so when you talk about um, Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, Abdullah, they always, Dr. Joe Dispenza, they all talk about working from the end, the law of expectancy, working from the desire fulfilled, not only thinking it, seeing it, but feeling it, right? And so here she is saying, it is necessary for man or woman to see the idea before it can manifest, okay? So I know we have wonderful seers here. So man's highest demand is for the divine design of his life or her life. Did you hear that? 
a man's highest demand is for the divine design of his or her life. But that's okay because I'm finding my design, divine design in my life. So he may not have the faintest conception or her of what it is, for there is possibly some marvelous talent hidden deep within him or her. And I know within every one of you, there are amazing talents either hidden or on the surface. And I wanna keep encouraging you to step boldly in life with those gifts. So his demand should be, okay, here we go. I love these. Infinite spirit, open the way for the divine design of my life to manifest. Let the genius within me now be released. Let me see clearly the perfect plan. Okay, we're going to read that another time. And as we listen to it, I want you to kind of use your imagination to hear, see, think, taste this. Okay, smell it, all of it. Infinite spirit, open the way for the divine design in my life to manifest. Let the genius within me now be released. Let me see clearly my perfect plan. <laughs> okay, you know guys, we gotta be excited. If we're gonna be excited for other people, we're gonna be excited for ourselves. So round of applause. Okay, so the perfect plan includes health, wealth, love, and perfect self-expression. Because if we're perfectly self-expressing ourselves, we're being who we were bought to be, doing what we were brought here to do, to live, move, and have our being and these purposes given to us by our beautiful creator. So this is the square of life, which brings perfect happiness. When one has made this demand, he may find great changes taking place in his or her life. For nearly every man has wandered, or woman has wandered far from the divine design. And we all kind of know what that happens when we, we wander far from our divine design. We start to feel icky. We don't feel motivated and inspired to wake up or to go to bed or to get things done. We kind of get in a, you know, a lull, like a valley, and we just kind of get stuck. So when we have the square of life, we find this perfect happiness that comes through expressing ourselves in our highest order values. So I know in one woman's case, so story, it was, a, it was as though a cyclone had stroked her affairs, but readjustments came quickly and new and wonderful conditions took the place of the old ones. Did you get that? So a cyclone came in and it kind of struck her affairs. She made readjustments quickly and then new and wonderful conditions took the place of the old ones. So we gotta be open. So perfect expression will never be labor. You know, they have that saying that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And there is truth in that. You want to have passion. Now, this is not to say throw out the door if you have to take care of your family or I understand this you know if you are the one who has to hold it down hold it down but continue to work on your true passion so that you can do your life expression find the way to get to that place okay perfect self-expression will never be labored but of such absorbing interests that it will seem almost like play that student knows also, as man comes into the world financed by God, the supply needed for his perfect expression will be at hand. And you know, if a seed is to grow in a healthy garden, it's gotta be planted in a healthy garden. So if you want the seed to grow of your divine plan, you also have to cultivate the garden of your heart and mind aligned and your life to be able to support that dream. We wanna get into that place where it's our perfect life expression. So, many a genius has struggled for years with the problem of supply, but we hold, right? When his spoken word and faith would have released quickly, 
the necessary funds. So are you hearing this? She's talking about many of us have struggled through the years with the problem of supply, right? Uh, we are geniuses. We know what we're supposed to be doing. Like for instance, I'm on this channel and you're watching me build and build each video and learning from Benzie Darling and Brand My Tube and Brian Scott and everyone else. And as I'm learning and I'm growing, we're gonna see different types of classes, courses, and videos coming out of me within the next one, two, three, four years. And I'm just gonna get better and better as I sit in my cultivating garden of my dream. So when we are looking at this, when many, many a genius struggles, right? Because they have a problem with supply. Okay, so you got a dream and you don't have the supply yet. But what does Florence say? When you have that spoken word and faith, we could release it quickly. We could get the necessary funds. So we're gonna hold in that. We're gonna continue to work this and it'll work us and it'll work for us. Like Reverend Ike would like to say, you can't lose with the stuff I got. <laughs> Well, you know, you can't lose with the stuff I use. There you go. So for example, story. After the class one day, a man came to me and handed me a cent. Oh, how, oh my gosh. One of my shorts was this penny. I found a penny on my wave of fortune today. Okay. He said, I have just seven cents in the world and I'm going to give you one. And I have faith in the power of your spoken word. I want you to speak the word for my perfect self-expression and prosperity. <laughs> he sounds awesome. Anyway, Florence, I spoke the word and I did not see him again until a year later. Kind of noticing that when Florence works with somebody and then like there's a space and time when she comes back to them, they're usually in great shape. But anyway, I spoke the word and did not see him again till a year later. He came in one day, successful and happy with a roll of yellow bills in his pocket. Ooh. He said, immediately after you spoke the word, I had a position offered to me in a distant city and I am now demonstrating health, happiness and supply. And wherever he came from, they're using yellow bills. So this is kind of funny. I went on a walk today and you can see some of my shorts. I found a scent and I found yellow <laughs> flowers and yellow music. So it's kind of funny because it's manifesting in this reading right now. So anyway, a woman's perfect self-expression may be in becoming a perfect wife, a perfect mother, a perfect homemaker. Oh, you can tell when this was written and not necessarily in having a public career. Florence would have loved to be alive right now. So anyway, we're picking up the baton for her. Demand definite leads and the way will be made easily and successfully. Okay, guys, that's something we really want to start picking up on. Florence talks about demanding definite leads and she's been speaking about it a little more in each story because you're not cluelessly running around. You are talking to the divine mind of God and clear definite leads will lead you to the perfect self-expression and health and wealth and love and prosperity and this great YouTube channel and la 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 la. So, okay, one should not visualize or force a mental picture, right? None of that. When he or she demands the divine design to come into his or her conscious mind, he will receive flashes of inspiration and begin seeing himself making some great accomplishments. And this is the picture or idea he must hold without wavering or she must hold without wavering. Did you get that? Okay, we're gonna do that again. She's talking about definite, demanding definite leads and the way will be made for our success and it will be made easy. One should not visualize or force the mental picture. When you demand the divine design to come into your consciousness, you will receive flashes of inspiration and begin to make great accomplishments 
and this is a picture or idea you must hold without wavering. And this is something I would like to let you know too. Along my way in life, when Divine Mind has given me a vision, a lot of times they're so grand and over the top. Believe, stand in faith and walk boldly in the direction of these visions because God is not going to lead you wrong and he sees you as more than a conqueror he sees you being able to do more than you ever dreamed you could do so if you get some incredible vision you need to really have faith and believe and do your work in the world to work with the divine mind for it to come forward do not shun these great incredible blessings that could be coming to you because it's going to be like as you watch my life take off from this channel it's going to be incredible i'm going to be worldwide and i'm going to be worldwide with you so here we go the thing man seeks is seeking him or her the telephone was seeking the bell okay the thing that you seek is seeking you so i want to ask you right now what are you seeking what are you seeking what are you seeking? Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear. The telephone was seeking Bell. Parents should never force careers and professions upon their children. With a knowledge of spiritual truth, the divine plan could be spoken for early in childhood or prenatally. A prenatal treatment should be, okay, Hold on, we're getting a prenatal treatment. Ready? Let the God in this child have perfect expression. Let the divine design of his mind or her mind and body and affairs be made manifest throughout their life and throughout eternity. Oh, that's so beautiful. To our beautiful, beautiful children. Oh my gosh. And as parents, we can't help ourselves but what I have noticed is that, okay, before Wayne Dyer, he's still helping us in another realm, but Wayne Dyer talked about that a lot, about not forcing his kids into certain careers, that he would let them figure out what was their gifts, where they would wanna be, and even if they were in a career in corporate and wanted to switch over to making purses or whatever it was, or Sands who used to surf the world and could never wake up unless he had to surf, um, he didn't like waking up early, but there were so many stories how he just loved his children and gave them everything he could give them and allowed them to chew their path. And they each were expressing themselves so beautifully. One of his daughters was a singer, beautiful singer. I mean, each were so gifted and were so overjoyed in their lives. So we are gonna do that for our children. I'm gonna do this again. Let the God in this child have perfect expression. Let the divine design of their mind, body, and affairs be made manifest through their life and throughout destiny. Oh my gosh, that's so touching. Okay. God's will be done, not man's. God's pattern, not man's pattern, is the command we find running through all the scriptures. And the Bible is a book dealing with the science of the mind. It is a book telling man how to release his soul or his subconscious mind from bondage. This is very, very important because a lot of people, you know, pass over the Bible and think it's boring and stuff. It ain't boring. It is like better than it's got it all. Everything in there that you will be watching as the world turns or whatever, it's all in the Bible. And it, it's the, if you study the Bible, there's sort of a base layer. And the more you study, the, the stories get deeper and deeper as you go into the histories. But I would also encourage this with other spiritual te texts like the Tao Te Ching or the Nag Hammani. When you start to, or the Emerald Tablets, what's really interesting too is as, or the um, Kabbalion. When you start to read these, you start to see these common threads running through each of them that are telling us the same things to love one another to choose a love over hate to create love and peace and not war like it's in so many ways it's so 
obvious what we need to do, but yet we are still running on ourselves versus surface service to others. And this is something that we are going to be working on as the one, we are, we are one, but the one are also many. And when we start to see these different aspects of God, we're starting to realize that we want to get the whole, you know, body of Christ or the body working together. We don't want the hand shooting the foot or the other hand shooting the back or what have you. You want to be choosing. And that's kind of what's happening as we continue to birth on the earth. And we're starting to see like all the good stuff and the bad stuff and the ugly stuff and everything. That's actually the beautiful part. It's the labor pains of us being birthed into the new earth and us being birthed forward in the divine design of what God made us and brought us here to be. And we get to choose. Are we going with God or are we going to go with, you know, selfish ways and other things? So God's will be done, not man's. God's pattern, not man's pattern, is the command we find running through all the scriptures. And the Bible is a book dealing with the science of the mind. It is a book telling man how to release his soul or his subconscious mind from bondage because a mind that's still in bondage is still going to be emitting negative energies and experiences into the collective, into their own lives. So we want to be free of the bondage and in our higher order values. So I just encourage you, don't bypass the Bible because it has a lot of amazing stories for you to latch onto to also empower you in your day-to-day -day life okay so the battles described are pictures of man waging war against mortal thoughts a man's foes shall be thy of his own household okay listen to this neville goddard joseph murphy reverend ike every man's man is jehoshaphat and every man is david who slays Goliath, mortal thinking, and with the little white stones of faith. Okay, I wanna just say this, this is not in here, but I know this from Reverend Ike. The battle describes a picture of man's waging war against its mortal thoughts. And so when we are reading the Bible, it teaches, us, when we're thinking these mortal or negative thoughts it's separating us from the mind of god and so when we renew our mind in the word of god we become one with the divine mind of god and nothing can take you down so a man's fold shall they be of his own household that also talks about the foot in your mind you have these negative words and programs and things running and that's what it that's one of the meanings because god's word as you get into it will continue to unfold in deeper and deeper levels but when your foe is in your own household it's not just meaning your kids or your husband it's also meaning right in your mind there is a battle going on in your mind like oh i'm not pretty enough i'm so, my channel this blah 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 all those things ips nay and stop they we're going to speak the word of god and we're going to silence those mortal thoughts so every man is Jehoshaphat and every man is David who slays Goliath, Goliath, mortal thinking, giant, you know, how many of you have faced your mortal thinking and it appears like this huge devouring monster, like you're not good enough, you can't do this. And you're like, ah, that's Goliath. And what are you going to do? You are going to take your little white stones of faith. And what does the Bible say? You just need a mustard seed, just a mustard seed. And you know what? When you begin starting to work with these principles, sometimes you're like, oh, you know, I got to be positive all the time. No, that's not reasonable. But you want to be positive more than not. But when you start to make these little shifts and you start to get these ahas and you begin to come out of victim mode and poor me mode, you start to realize I do. I am God and I can change the temperature in this room by what I'm thinking, mind and heart aligned. So I can say, I'm not gonna get defeated about this bill. I'm gonna believe that God is gonna supply me for this bill because he is in charge of the bank of the universal. And so it will be. And when you start to make these little shifts, holy camoli, 
get ready because your whole world's about to upgrade. Whew, I got chicken skin on that, yeah. So, so man must be careful that he is not the wicked and sloth servant who buried his talent or her talent. Don't bury your talent. There is a terrible penalty to be paid for not using one's ability. So if we are on social media too much, if we are watching too much TV, Netflix, YouTube, accept my channel, of course. <laughs> If we are doing things that are not helping us to develop the talent, then we are bearing our talent and we are not going to do that anymore. We are going to make our dreams, goals, visions, acts of service and purposes come out into the earth. We are going to raise this new earth. We're not going to sit back and keep putting it on somebody else to fix it. We are going to step up and be our best and do what we need to do as part of the divine mind of God to help this world. So one, a man must be careful that he is not wicked or thoughtful servant who buries his or her talent. There is a terrible penalty for not using one's own ability. So if you need to course correct there, please do so. Put it in the comments. Often fear stands between man and woman and her, his or her perfect self-expression. Did you hear that? Often fear stands between man or woman's perfect self-expression. That's right. So when you feel the fear, you are going to do it anyway. You're going to keep, and you know what they say about fear? False evidence appearing real. Check the fears, check them. Check them before they wreck them. Look at the fear and decipher. Okay, so maybe my videos are not perfect yet. Yet, but Benzie Darling and Brian Scott have been mentoring me. I'm learning every day. So is it really true? that I can't do a video? No. False evidence appearing real. Is it true that I'll never be better at this? No. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Check, check, check. You know, a lot of people are very critical on what they look like. Let me tell you this, you are beautiful to somebody, okay? So false evidence appearing real. So when we see our fears, we are going to check them and we are going to not allow them to keep us from our perfect self-expression. And another thing about perfect self-expression, it doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. We are working our way. Okay, I saw an awesome video about a gymnast. Um, I coached gymnastics over 22 years and all kinds of sports, but this guy just put it so well. He talked about how he was working on the bars and how he was working on a release move, you know, how and how many times he fell and fell and fell and fell and fell. And he said he didn't think people could understand the journey that a gymnast went through in the process of perfecting a skill. And it's so true. A lot of times when you see a gymnast, you don't tend to see the part where they fall, break an ankle, fall on their neck blah 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 all these injuries they have as many injuries if not more than professional football players and they're pretty serious injuries due to the nature of gymnastics but he talked about how one thing one skill that he learned took him like seven years to perfect and then even then he had to be in reverence and he had to have um he had to respect the move like he couldn't get on that bar without his mind and heart aligned or he could get hurt and i love that fact because be, just because he couldn't do it in the beginning and it was terrible form in the beginning and he couldn't stick it he never gave up and then he became one of the best so remember that on your way to perfect expression if you're not perfect initially we keep trying and trying again like a gymnast till we perfect it till we stick the landing so okay so Often fear stands between man and his perfect, his or her perfect self-expression. Stage fright has hampered many a genius. This may be overcome by the spoken word or treatment. The individual then loses all self-consciousness and feels simply that he or she is a channel for the infinite intelligence 
to express themselves through. So he or she is under direct inspiration, fearless and confident for he feels that it is the father within him who does the work. That's so beautiful. So I want to just encourage you. Okay. Don't let fear stop you and also continue to work on your skill set till you perfect it. And you know, think about Tony Robbins. I remember when I was like little watching him on the TV and watching people, you know, not really listen to him and everything. And look at him now. He is the leader. He is amazing. And he knows he he's just amazing. He has so many um, skill sets. He's perfected it and he continues to help the whole world. And it's just such a touching story. So stage fright has hampered many a genius and this may be overcome by the spoken word or treatment and the individual then loses all self-consciousness and feels simply that he or she so this is the point he or she we are the challenge the channel for infinite intelligence to express itself through and we are under direct inspiration fearless and confidence for we know that the father within us is doing the works so this just like we are here to serve others we are here to not hide our talents we are here to live out our perfect self-expression and it comes in steps you know and maybe you're at the top of the mountain and maybe you're in the middle of the mountain maybe you're at the bottom of the mountain wherever you are it just matters that you keep going and you kept step stepping forward to find out what this is because the father within will deliver okay well thank you so much for joining oh i wanted to say this in in ending i i'm also a nurse and i taught i would teach um, a lot of classes and I would also have my um, colleagues and you know some of the people working for me I would have them teach and I always made sure as often as I could that I was in the audience because when they would speak and I would hold them from the audience and I would hold them in that positive gaze what a wonderful class they're gonna give it's gonna save lives nurses doctors medics you know they're all going to take in the information and it's going to ring true so that when they are taking care of patients their heart and mind will align and there won't be errors and they will come they'll be coming from this like loving place and they'll be healing people because they'll be in the heart and mind aligned and they'll be not only heart and mind aligned but they'll be genius so they're not going to get medications wrong they're going to get treatments on time they're going to communicate with the families they're going to communicate with the patient all these miraculous things that need to happen and I would sit in the audience and I would hold them and I would notice I kind of came to this on my own knowing through the power of the Holy Spirit but it would just change their um, it would change their presentation because why because they would lose self-consciousness they could feel me rooting for them they could feel that they had someone in the audience with them and it would build their confidence, it would make them fearless and it would inspire them to go out and teach their nursing classes to help save patients' life through educating each other. And so I'm just saying like, whether you're the one speaking or you're the one holding the speaker, it's all heart and mind aligned in the divine mind of God. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I am very grateful to have you here and I'm very grateful for your support. And this chapter of perfect self-expression or the divine design is getting to be off, off the chain and exciting. And I look forward to seeing you in a day or two. And um, follow me, subscribe, leave your positive comments Please like the videos. It helps it to get through the algorithm and maybe somebody else who needs to hear about Florence Goble Shin will because we did that. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you for joining me and may you be at peace.